Buying and owning a puppy is a massive responsibility and socialisation is one of the most important aspects of owning a puppy. They generally have their first vaccination between 8 and 10 weeks and really they shouldn't be socialising with different dogs in that period because they're not fully vaccinated. However, there are different ways that you can try and improve the socialisation of your puppy before this period. One of the main aspects is most vets will provide a puppy party. These parties are great fun. It means that they can socialise with puppies that are generally the same sort of age and in the same situation. So they're learning life skills, how to behave around each other. And also these puppy socialisation and parties are great for education. So it allows the vets or the nurses to have time spent with you goes over different information such as microchipping, insurance, vaccinations. Another important aspect of owning a puppy is making sure that they're properly treated and preventative treatment is given for flea and worm treatment. So we talk about the different types of treatments that is out there and how they work and what best suits your puppy. If your puppy is food orientated it makes life quite a lot easier. Rewarding is great um, when you have good behaviour and we tend to say ignore bad behaviour. Generally with puppies uh, they, need, they need to have their first time experiences before the age of 16 weeks. This means making sure that they're exposed to as much as possible such as cars, lorries, crossing roads, meeting children, meeting the elderly, bicycles etc etc. After 16 weeks Basically, their socialisation of experiences closes. So if they haven't been exposed to something before that age, it's most likely that they're going to be scared of it because they haven't got that memory that they've seen it and everything's OK beforehand. This makes the socialisation period such an important area of their life because it's so short and generally when you're getting them, they are eight weeks, ten weeks already. So you've pretty much got a, a four to six week gap in which you can expose them to as much as possible. If you already have an existing dog and then you get a puppy, quite often that puppy can get so attached to that other dog and to yourself that actually they don't get any confidence for themselves. One of the puppies in this footage, she was really nervous, um, wanted to keep jumping up to her owner because basically she was really healthy and very full of beans at home and very confident but as soon as you took her away from the other dog she was really nervous, didn't want to socialise with the other puppy, she just wanted to run away. So actually the following week she was much better, wanted to interact with the other puppy so it just shows that um, trying to separate the two dogs and do things differently with them really does help with their socialisation and development. So I can't stress enough how important it is to make sure that your puppy is socialised from a really young age. Really it should be the, the main priority of what you're working towards in the first sort of eight weeks that you have the puppy. Uh, if you're interested in the puppy socialisation class that we provide at the clinic then please give us a call and we'll look forward to seeing you soon.